Hey everyone, welcome back to Cruthero. In this video, we're going to be going over the massive Unreal Engine and Unity Asset Bundle featuring a ton and ton of items from Hivemind. For only $30, you can go ahead and get these 57 items, which makes it about 50, almost 50 cents a pop. And there's just so much variation, so many different types of games you can make. And these graphics are mostly catered towards uh, semi-realistic to hyper-realistic. And there are a couple of stylized stuff. So we got kind of have these cool looking animals over here that will go over the stylized village. And you'll see double just because one's Unreal, one's Unity. And the key is provided, so you can just go ahead and copy paste that. We also do have some game music, horror ambient loops, and monster sounds. So let's open these in the Unreal Engine, and I'll get back to you in a second. Uh, this does support Make-A-Wish, so feel free to uh, just go ahead and put in however many you want. The seven items does get you these, what you see on the screen right now. And the two item bundle, if you just want $1, will get you the monster sounds and the horror loops if you just specifically want the uh, the music and the sound effects. All right, so the first one we're gonna be going over is the stylized village. So as you can see, very stylized, cute looking water. You even have some foam effects whenever it comes into contact with another mesh. We have staircases. And then if we go below the water, we can actually see this nice looking sand texture if you wanted to use it on the beach. We have some cute looking grass and cliffs and trees and so on. Kind of gives it a very Genshin Impact slash anime vibes. And then we have little market stalls with fruits and veggies and bottles and so on. We have these modular houses that you can kind of set up in however, whatever way you want. Um, okay, wow, this is kind of, this kind of reminds me of Swords and Sorcery or something. Uh, it's like a VR game. I don't know if I said the name right or blade and sword I, I forgot what the name was but the inside actually kind of looks like how you select your level uh very nice looking uh just a bit more stylized but i really do like the stylized look i'm a huge fan of stylized assets anyways and let's go ahead outside i just love that the buildings are modular and you can basically do whatever you want with them and then we go down this path or up the path rather we have these nice lanterns and more houses over there and yeah pretty large area as we can see so more uh, signs and a fountain in the middle, kind of like a town square. we got a windmill in the back there, some smoke effects coming over this. And then if we go here, this is kind of random to me, but we have these like glowing VFX covering these shrooms. We're going into some sort of mystical forest, kind of going out. I'm going to be expecting some kind of magic based creatures in this area. We have these little ethereal VFX in the air going on. But overall, really, really cool. Uh, this is kind of unexpected. And yeah, we also have cloud and just a lot of grass and so on and some nice mountains in the background. And yeah, so as I keep going, more trees and so on. But yeah, overall, a really, really cool asset. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. And next up, we have the stylized nature pack. So as you can see, lots of stylized grass and naturey bamboo with some nice animations. Kind of looks like there's a nice breeze going on nonstop. And we have this kind of Japanese themed... Uh, little stand here as well as let's keep going we have this really nice trees really nice grass even more bamboos kind of these thick ones that have kind of like fallen off or been chopped down and yeah overall a really cool asset and this nice really kind of like a pink bonsai tree wannabe thing and then we also have these really nice vegetation again looks very anime like looks very unique i don't see any assets in these types of styles for the trees uh, ever on crab marketplace but the foliage and the vegetation in this is really pretty. We have a nice sky with a lot of stars and some really nice cloud effects in the background there. And then if we keep moving down further, we'll see these types of trees, more bamboos and so on. And just, yeah, overall pretty cool asset. Let's go ahead and look at the next one. And now this one is the medieval fantasy style village. So it sh only shows the overview of the houses themselves. So you can easily just go inside and then place mix and match these as you want. If I go ahead and select this, you can see that I can uh, just move them piece by piece individually and pretty much design them however I want to. And it looks really nice. This kind of gives me either like Native American or a Viking type of stuff. You can also obviously use these for horror games as it can make like a really creepy village at nighttime and so on. And yeah, pretty cool asset. Let's go ahead and see. Maybe there's an upstairs one. Yeah, okay, so this house looks like there would be an upstairs. And, okay, maybe not then. I thought, I just assumed there would be an upstairs. But they do have every single piece laid out individually over here. So as we can see, uh, single windows, double windows. We got bridges and chimneys, rooftops, kitchen stoves, pots and pans, smaller assets, wooden logs, a pathway, fireplace, and so on. 
as well as some fences. We do have ladders, maybe no stairs, but hey, the ladders will do. We have wagons, uh, giant rocks, barrels, and a lot of shelves. And overall, yeah, pretty cool. Can kind of mix and match. And back there, we do have a good amount of variety of trees. And now we have the ultimate creatures pack. If you're looking for animals with animations that are not too stylized, we have uh, multiple variations actually. So we got this right one, which is a bit more on the realistic side and the left one is very cartoony and stylized. They have their own kind of walking and running animation and so on. And then over here we have some deer and we have some very demonic stylized style deers. And then we, they also come with quite a few uh, amounts of animation, like an attack, uh, walking, running, jumping, and so on. Very cool. And then we have wolves. So we got the normal wolves, stylized wolves, uh, radiated wolves, I guess, gradient wolves, and then their attack animations. We got a little howl, a little bite, a uh, hurt or hit effect, and running and walking. And yeah, very cool. Tons of skin for the wolf. Very nice. And then we also have um, characters pack, but uh, overall pretty cool, I guess, if you want this kind of walking or running stylized animation. And now let's check out the fantasy town map. So really, really pretty looking asset pack. It's a huge, huge map. Kind of looks like this is a production or you may want to optimize this a lot more before you use this for production, but it does look like a kind of very realistic, kind of like Witcher 3 vibes over here. We have a huge village with a big body of water going through and hydrating our village over here. We have these amazing looking modular structures. So let's go ahead and just check these out a little bit. So I have all these insides, just a like ton and ton of objects inside in each one. I can go upstairs and just check out the next levels. We have nice lighting and a nice bedroom, tree sticking through the wall and so on. We have these little, uh, little barrels and just a ton of little hay or leaves on the ground. And then over the bridge, we have our huge, huge fancy looking castle. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and check out the castle. So I'm gonna go through the gate. We have a very, kind of looks old, kind of looks uh, unkempt and abandoned. Uh, we have ripped flags and just a lot of mess on the ground here and looking really, really nice. I'm loving how, uh, so they, these are just a ton of scenes loading at the same time. And there's a huge open space with a light up top here. Um, I'm a little surprised that they are, oh, okay. So it's supposed to be fire here, but I think that's just a point light, but really cool dungeon, kind of giving a bit of a spooky, uh, kind of like, magician cult vibes in here and let's go ahead and check it out even more we have a man this is a really really big castle that's kind of putting in a lot of work it even goes more upstairs okay let's go ahead and check that out and wow it just it just keeps going up this is crazy it keeps going up keeps going up these are the kind of assets that i see in those videos that are like will wow to be hyper realistic or if world of warcraft was an unreal engine and so on and yeah, so it is a little laggy for me. Uh, nice. Okay, great. And we have this medieval base ruins. Kind of looks like a Breath of the Wild uh, vibe over here. Just a lot of foliage and covered runes. So we're going to go ahead and check out the inside. Very modular. You can piece these together as needed. And this one is definitely feeling a lot more optimized than the last one. The last one was just an enormously sized map. I'm sure you guys could do a better job with PCG and so on and yeah so very nice very uh nice looking rays over here this would look like a really nice map at night and yeah very adventurous very uh adventure like very medieval theme very fantasy and absolutely loving how this looks really cool so we got these like nice watchtowers in the back that we can go up and climb up and so on and it does come with these staircases Spiral staircases that you just keep traveling through. There are lots of windows and so on. Very nice. We have these uh, these bird effects in the sky. Lots of clouds and so on. Good amount of foliage and mountains and all that. Uh, but yeah, overall, this level looks really, really nice. Let's head on to the next asset. And next up, we have another medieval village. So let's go through these gates. We have this little... Uh, this little wagon over here, along with a bunch of tree logs. Very nice looking foliage. This outdoors kind of reminds me of Lord of the Rings a bit. Very adventurous. So let's go ahead and see what's in this village. So we have these nice looking wooden themed houses with hay tops and a lot of shields and kind of Viking looking weapons going uh, just all around, even used as decorations here. And yeah, we have a lot of beer cans. Uh, some pans and kitchen stuff and a hammer 
and axes and all that. So very kind of Skyrim slash of Alheim vibes. We got these ropes. I'm guessing they're for hanging clothes and all that. And very cool and very modular indeed. We got bags of dirt and a lot of hay. We have these insides. So everything is pieced up pretty well step by step. And now let's go in here. It's a little spooky in here. I'm going to get out of here. And yeah, very nice, very nice looking asset. This is the medieval uh, based village. So pretty cool. Uh, I love hive, hive mind stuff in general. The only thing that I don't like is um, their naming convention on their folders kind of sucks. It doesn't match the actual asset name. So it might be a little confusing when you import these and try these out to see if you got the right asset. But as long as you know what you're importing, uh, you are good to go. I just import in bulk to review these humble bundles and sometimes they get tricky on what asset I actually imported. And that covers today's overview of the humble bundle. There are a ton and ton of more assets that I need to go through in order to actually finish this, but because these do take a while to load, I'm just going to end it here. Uh, feel free to use my uh, affiliate link in the description or in the pinned comment below. It does help support my channel. It does help support what I do. Uh, thank you all so much for watching and all to all my Patreons. I give you guys a special shout out for helping me continue what I do and yeah, see you in the next video.